Talk to me. Um, did she, what did she say? What was the, did she turn you down? Um, um, how to be a player. I remember that you mentioned that you did add your own ideas mm -hmm. to the character. Mm -hmm. Sure. Uh, what was one of the things that you did? Uh, the cowboy boots and the cowboy hat with the whipped cream. Um, that's when I realized how funny I could really be when my man Lionel uh, Martin, who directed it, let me do what I wanted. Mm -hmm. Robert Townsend, he was a little more structured. I was able to wear the, 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 the perm and shit. It wasn't scheduled, yes. but I said, I want a perm. And I think, I, um, I think he let me do the gold tooth. I think that's what it was, something like that. But I knew in How to Be a Player, when Lionel said, man, go say that, you know. I'd ask him, like, I said a line like this, can I do this? He's like, go do it. And then, and then when the movie came out, people were like, the, peop the things that people mentioned that they liked so much was stuff that I came up with, like going into the, that, um, the gynecologist chair. I think I'm going to have sex with the gynecologist chair. Right. That wasn't scheduled, but he let me do that. Yeah. So I was like, you know what? I have my pulse on funny in movies. I know what y'all like, you know? And that's what I did for the love of money. I, I threw all my own crazy ideas mm -hmm. in that. Mm -hmm. uh, another classic is Baps. <laughs> Out of those two, which one do you think is your propelled you the most? Just real quick. They came back to back, so I can't. So, but I'll say the one that kept me the longest is BAPS because it, 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 it came from, it, it had an audience between eight to 80. Yeah. You okay. know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. And right. even to this day, and I've never told people this before, but I went to the premiere. It wasn't my kind of movie. I'm more of a Wayne's brother humor, that, that, gotcha. you know, white chicks, some edgy shit. They're like, hell no, I know you. So that was a little more softer to me. So I remember watching a little bit in the premiere, I was going on and out, you know, talking to people, whatever. So I never really watched the movie. So for years and years, people were like, yo, man, I love you in Baps. I love you in Baps. Girls were like, I love you in Baps. Kids, grandmothers, I love you in Baps. I'm like, really? That corny shit? To me, I'm thinking, I'm like, that's not my, you know, okay, whatever. Whatever. I'm not, I'm not, not liking it, but it wasn't my thing. I was like, yeah. oh, really? I like yeah. that? Okay, whatever. So boom, boom, boom. Years and years, and about, maybe about eight years ago, I said, hold on. Let me sit down and watch this movie, because people are telling me all the time how much oh, they wow. love Baps. Okay. And I never told him about that. And I finally sat down and watched it, and I got it. I said, "Okay, I see now what it was." But before that, I was a little more edgy or rambunctious. I get the, I get the funny. Of it. It, it, it is a good movie. It's cute. It's a I feel get it. good movie. Yeah, it's, exactly. It's nice. Right. You see Hallie in a different light. Yeah. And it was just no hard humor. It was easy going. It was funny, and it had a message to it. Yeah. So I got it. I said, "Okay." And now I like it. It's one of my. I, I definitely like it now. You know. For but sure. when I first did it, it was not something that I was crazy about you know yeah we mentioned uh holly berry mm -hmm. um just from research and knowing mm -hmm. you definitely tried to take a shot at holly Hell yeah, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and i ain't gonna be i ain't proud of it but you know yeah i mean I, because uh wait because of you were you were seeing someone or you were in a relationship at the time I think it's called marriage nigga. that's what i was I'm fucking shit i was married at the time hey if you're gonna cheat nigga cheat up nigga i mean i love holly but damn it i mean i love my wife but you know but no I just wanted to, see, you know, I mean, I was young, man. Come on, What is bro. that, a, a text message? <laughs> what? How do you get out of here? Get, get, How did you try to get out of Holly? We rehearsed. And we, we, we had little things we could do. Like, Robert, Robert Towns okay. wanted us to hang out and get to know, get the lines. Yeah. He wanted the synergy to be right before we started filming. So he wanted right. us to change the numbers right. and hang right. out and stuff. Like that. Text messages. They got 96. They got no text messages back then. Shit, I'd have, I'd have go straight Page to it. Yeah, no, nah, right. Okay, I'd have beeped it. Okay, the six and the nine. But no, um... I, I was trying to move up on her, trying to, you know, just see what she was talking about. I was like, oh, she might like me, because she picked me out of all the people she saw. Right. She saw Man, a lot that of actors. Should, that probably that messed your me. head up, in the sense of, you believe, not, not to say it wasn't true. Right. But yeah, like, she picked you out of yeah. all these brothers, so damn, she might be kind of feeling her brother. Yeah, bit. exactly. I know she's going to keep it professional, but I'm going to go in. Right. Well, well, she was going through a divorce with, with uh, Dave Justice, so she okay. was vulnerable. And, you know, she needed a shoulder to cry on, you know. Like I said, they got these two shoulders right here, you know. That's what it is. Did she turn you down? Um, I had brought my daughter on set one time. Mm. I have a little, little daughter, and I brought my daughter on set, and um, she was six months at a time. And Hallie didn't, you know, remember, we didn't discuss if I was married or had a kid. Why would we? She ain't got nothing to talk about. She, she ain't got nothing to do with this. Wow. And um, when she saw it, she asked about my daughter, and I told her, she said, oh, you married? And I was like, yeah. She's like, oh, okay. And that's when, whoa, whoa, I can kind of feel like, they're like, all right, let's get, let's get to acting. You know? And like, went back to acting. Yeah, I was like, okay. Well, in my mind, it did. She might have been thought that all along, but to me, I was like, damn. I look at my daughter right now, I'm like, damn, she's 23 years old. I keep saying, shit. If I had $35 for a babysitter, you know your stepmother could have been? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We so close to getting out of poverty. <laughs> Man. Um, <laughs> speaking of marriage and entertainment, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. that's, uh, that's dicey. It can be, be hard for a man to, to deal with. 
you know, respectfully. Mm -hmm. Lonnie Love just dropped these comments. Right. You catch that comment? Oh, yeah. What's your thoughts on her saying something like that, though? Um, well, you know, you got to deal with her experience. Maybe she, did, she experienced that more, you know what yeah. I'm saying? You know, black men are very, uh, what's the word, visceral, you know, you know, when it comes to women and stuff. And yes, yes. You give a nigga opportunity to cheat, and 98% of them are going to do it. You know what I'm saying? They may not go after it, but let's just say you're a man, you're married, you've been married for a couple of years, you in Chicago, you at the bar, the hotel, when the finest women ever come, come start talking to you and stuff like that. And before, things happen. Yeah. Now, I know there's going to be some people out there saying, no, I would never, man, black man, we don't do that. Okay, nigga, you don't do that. But trust and believe, I'm in Hollywood. I've seen niggas go on award shows and say, I love my wife, man, I love my wife, she's a queen. And then as soon as they get off stage, like, who will suck my dick back here in the room? You know, I've seen that. You know, like, damn, I've been on the road with niggas who fuck around and shit, like, god damn. Mm. Now, I'm not going to say nothing, you know, ain't none of my business. I don't give a damn who you fuck. You yeah. can fuck yourself as far as I care. Yeah. But I've seen it. I've seen it behind the scenes. And I love when people always say, well, you know what? That person's so sweet. They're so nice and stuff. You know, I'm like, he always says he loves his wife and Jesus and all that. Oh, okay. I know the person behind the closed door. Right. So I hear you, but yeah. a lot of times it's like, mm mm. So, yeah. Like, the criticism with hers was just like, it probably wasn't the right platform to do it on. Mm-hmm. Where, where is she? Where is she? On her show? On the real. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's like maybe middle America kind of right. watching this right, show. Right, right, right. Soccer moms that are at home. Right. So it's kind of putting our, our dirty laundry out there. And, right. You know, so right. that was kind of the, the criticism. And I understand that. Because I think what you're saying is, is a real conversation. Sure. But it would have been, it would have been received differently if she was talking in house with us and right. talking to each other. Right. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Sure. But you know what? I, I give a prop for, for speaking up because maybe it wouldn't have got it would it would have been dust under the table if it had been on BET. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm. You know, uh, you know what I'm saying. So yeah. what are we going to do about it? Yeah. If she feels that way, if you out there cheating when you had a, a wife or whatever, you, or just a, a man, a man got a woman you're out there cheating, are you going to stop because she said that? If not, then okay. Then one point is well what did she do it for you know at the end of the day if it ain't gonna stop nothing or if they're putting light to people saying okay you know she got i, I don't want to be part of that yeah. you know what i'm saying i don't want to be part of that man so but but, but it ain't just black men shit men men she yeah shit. yeah men, and men that was she, another statement it, yeah, it kind on. of yeah she kind of posterized us. just black men right 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 yeah. no but yeah men period